So I've recently been looking into Flat Earth and figured I'd go look at some books that I owned. And here's one of them. National Geographic Visual Atlas of the World. It's a very nice coffee table book. On page we have 253. Here is Antarctica. And it depicts very interesting names of different areas. I don't know why my, there we go, Talus Dome. And it's interesting because when I actually looked up what these areas were, they call them I guess the highest elevation in different areas of Antarctica. But why would they call it dome? Why not call it a mountain like they do everywhere else? Why not call it something different other than dome and Argus and you know all these names. Valkyrie Dome is the plateau station for the United States, Bannon Research Center. You know, this one talks about Mars meteorites or something. You know, but then you come over here and, you know, why, why do people own these things? This is a horrible video I'm taking right now. I apologize. Looking out so well for me. With his Rockefeller Birdland. You know, obviously people have seen the Birdland before and heard of Admiral Bird and all those things. Who knows if they're conspiracies or not. But it's just very odd that you would have these names of domes all over the place. You know, here's Hercules Dome. Right in the center of Antarctica. And Titan Dome. Like, you know, never see dome anywhere else on Earth. Dome, unless it's, you know, the Astrodome or some stadium. But, you know, they just continue to think that using dome is the right word. So, I don't get it. Very interesting. You know, I know there's another place called, like, Cosmonaut Sea or some bullshit. But, you know, very interesting. And I thought I would just make a new video just to be a little clearer on the positions of these so-called dooms. But thanks for watching.